what is your job on FIBA? Uh, my job is uh, Vice President of FIBA Europe Youth Commission. Uh, our duties are beginning from mini basketball over under 14 get together youth championships for under 16, under 18, under 20, this camp, everything that, that has to do with youth basketball in Europe. Okay. Uh, what did you see in Pustona? What, what do you see on this camp that make you come back almost every year? I'm here only the second time. Okay. Uh, I'm very impressed about the, the feeling here. Uh, Slovenia is a great country, of course, with a big history of, of basketball. Uh, we have excellent instructors. They are the highest level in Europe. We have excellent instructors for the referees. They are all also highest level in Europe. And we have a lot of motivated young female coaches and girls, of course, and referees. And this camp is unique. I've never seen such a camp. We don't have such a camp with girls, referees and coaches. It's unique in the world. Yes, and will you come back uh, on this camp and what do you think about the future of the camp? Will it be better or...? I think it's a standard of FIBA Europe to improve every, every year in, in, in all areas. Uh, I've been here a few years ago and now I'm here another time and I saw a lot of things improved and we had, you know, a discussion, discussion round with the coaches to hear new ideas, to get a feedback to improve ourselves for the next year. We have to discuss it with FIBA Europe, with the Youth Commission and with the instructors and then we will change a few things for example. Okay, thanks. That's You're welcome. What's the fir the first sport you've ever played? Uh, I played I played football from the beginning, so this was the first, let's say, yeah. yeah uh -huh, okay. So what inspired you to play basketball? Uh, because uh, I wanted like to change the sport uh, because I didn't want to play anymore uh, football with the men. So my mom inspired uh -huh, okay. me like, that I tried to play basketball. So it was good decision. Okay. Um, in which team have you started your career? I started in a small club, uh, it calls uh, basketball club uh, Odea from mm -hmm. Skofia Luka. So this is a small town, uh, my hometown, so there I started. Okay, so uh, the last question is, uh, what, what would you be if you wouldn't be a basketball player? I, I think I, I would be a football player probably, ah. <laughs> or some other sport, for sure I will say it's good. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>
inspired you to become a basketball coach? Definitely coming from a basketball family was an important part uh, because I don't for any moment of my life where basketball wasn't a part of it. So uh, this was obviously very important, but also becoming a coach was never my plan. And uh, I, it started totally unexpected, but from the first day when I went to coach, to, to, to exchange a coach that was sick in an under 16 team in a small club in Serbia, uh, it stayed like this. So that's the moment where the, when I fell in love with basketball and it continues to be. Okay, um, so, how did you prepare your team for such a success at the Olympics? Serbia is a small country uh, where women's basketball is very famous for men's basketball, but women's basketball was, as in, in all other countries, never followed so much, so it really was a big deal. Uh, we had to change totally the mentality of, uh, of, of the nation and making everyone love women's basketball and that's how it is today because we were working, we were fighting for, for the jersey uh, and that's something that that uh, Serbian people always recognize and uh, on the other hand being a coach you have to work with your team every single day, every single practice, pick the right individuals and for your team and, and every minute of practice you use to make them better people and better basketball players every day. Um, how did it go see you as a female trainer? How they see me? Yeah. How... Uh, well, that's a question for them, first of all, but uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't make any difference about female or male coaches. I would just say that uh, basketball players and the team uh, likes a coach that's fair to everyone, the same to everyone, and uh, like I say, not making a big difference between male or female coaches. I just think the most important part is knowing basketball and having the right knowledge. Yes, okay, so just a last question. Um, how did your father's, uh, if you did, uh, career influence your own? Like I said before, there wasn't any plan besides of me following him and uh, like we were all as a family traveling together when he was coaching different clubs, Real Madrid, Barcelona or uh, Panathinaikos. In those years we were following him, uh, but the logic was more that my older brother becomes a coach. Uh, which never happened. Uh, he's in the movie industry. Simply, you know, it's not. It's, I guess, some some talent. I guess I had to. I had to become this, and uh, I cannot say it didn't influence me because uh, going and living living this basketball life was definitely a very important part. But uh, on the other hand, everyone knows the story now. It's even boring like how much he didn't want me to become a basketball coach. Only because he was so, uh, you know, occupied about like, my health and how, you know, he, having his daughter go into so, so much stress as being a basketball coach. Thank you.
So, hello. Um, in which club did you start your professional career? It's hard to say because I was, when I was even a junior player, they paid me a little bit, but they oh. paid me. But then I was real professional. It was for, in your escape club. Okay, nice. Um, how did you become an FIBA ambassador for coaches? Because for a long time I played a high level of basketball and then Petit Celebrian asked me if I would like to be ambassador and I really like this uh, project because we can travel and we can talk with the young girls and I think that I really like this way to tell something how it was and what they can improve, what they can do better to become uh, like the best player in the world. Yes, okay, nice. And what were the feelings when you became an MVP on the World Cup? Oh, it was unbelievable and it wasn't just like this moment because I really enjoyed these three months with the preparing our team for the World Championship. It was a lot of great moments for me, it was the great team and everything was new for me so I really enjoyed the time. And this was just one point that I was the MVP. Okay, thank you for this minute and yeah, see you next time. So what made you to come here in Kostoina? Well, I wanted to see the girls camp here. The, the, uh, it grew from year to year. It's gotten bigger and um, um, I didn't have the chance so far to come uh, because now it's summer program and there are a lot of other events. But I really I wanted to come the whole time and now I'm here uh, to see and I'm really, really happy how that whole thing is going. and how everybody is motivated, the girls on the court, the coaches, the referees. And it's like a big family. And um, it's a lot about basketball, whole day basketball. And what can you ask more? What are you working on, FIBA? What's your main job there? Main job, I'm uh, um, the head of the coaching department. So we are uh, in charge of uh, educating and supporting the coaches throughout Europe. That means we have uh, three major areas, the FIBA Europe Coaching Certificate, FECC is a big part. We're having the coaching website, which is a website for coaches free to use. And uh, everybody should go in there. It's, uh, it's free, like I said, it's a lot of tools there. And uh, 30,000 uh, coaches are using this already. So um, I'm still hoping Slovenia will have more coaches in there. So what do you think about Slovenian coaches? Uh, can be they competitive on the world, with the world best coaches or not? I think, and not because I'm here now, uh, I think Slovenian coaches are one of the best educated coaches we have. And I can judge this because we have every year we have these, uh, this FECC and they are uh, coaches from 40 countries. We only have 50 in, the, in FIBA Europe and 40 countries from all over Europe and I must say the Slovenian coaches are always extremely well educated. Okay, thanks.